I had never had any real experience with sign language, um, but there was a media referral that we got, and this man came to the door, and he obviously wasn't speaking. And so we got out a piece of paper and a pen, and we wrote down, hey, you know, we don't know sign language, but we'd like to teach you. You mentioned that you wanted us to come by. Is it okay if we go find somebody who knows sign language? And he said, yeah, that would be fine. Or he, he wrote, yeah, that would be fine, he indicated. And and so we went out and we tried to find somebody and we couldn't find anybody. And we came back and being young and ambitious missionaries, we decided that we were going to go teach him anyways. And so we grabbed a pad of paper and a pen and we sat down with him and, and taught him the first discussion on that pad of paper. We wrote down what we wanted to say and we wrote down questions for him. He wrote down questions and we answered it with the paper and and when we when we taught him that time when we when we shared Moroni Moroni's challenge um to read the Book of Mormon um it it, it touched him and we could feel it and and the spirit was very strong. It it was a very clear indication that the spirit was the real teacher. Um especially since we weren't saying anything. Um but from there, he decided that he wanted to teach a sign language so that we could teach other people who were deaf about the gospel. And we we kept teaching him for about a month, and we learned a little bit of sign language. And when we um, when we sat down with him this one time, he wrote down on a pad of paper, "You know, I'm I'm really happy that you've learned so much sign language. I've got a surprise for you. Ready?" And we looked at him expectantly, and he wrote ready on the paper again, and he put the paper in the pen down and said, what's up, I can speak now. And what happened was, he was hearing impaired. He he could hear, and he could speak, but his wife was completely deaf, and, and he indicated to us that the reason he was teaching us sign language was so that we could teach other people who were completely deaf the gospel. From there, each area that I served in, there was somebody who was deaf, or somebody that needed who was hearing impaired, and and bit by bit I learned sign language. There were there were miracles along the way. I mean, there was one family that I stopped by for dinner one time, and it was my birthday, and there were birthday streamers up, and I said, "Oh well, you know, how'd you know it was my birthday?" And they said, "These are from our daughter's birthday five months ago." <laughs> And and while we were sitting down at the table eating dinner and, and talking about this story, about me learning sign language, the, the wife of the, the family said, hold on a second, and she ran upstairs and she got a copy of the Book of Mormon in ASL, which is just a, a bunch of, about 16 to 18 DVDs of people signing out the Book of Mormon, and, and a an LDS signing guide, and she gave it to me for my birthday, <laughs> you know, and just different things that, that were that couldn't have been coincidence led up to to being a blessing to a lot of a lot of people and i'm i'm still not quite sure exactly why the lord wants me to know sign language but but i do know that that it is something that that i should probably look into and and keep up because i'm sure he's going to have some use for it later on